The Merciless buff this season allows it to maintain the decreased charge time perk through reloading, and in a recent video by Astacross, Merciless was at the top of the damage ranking, even beating LFRs. But the way he does his damage testing is pretty quick and dirty, and shows a very limited picture of a weapon's DPS. So in this video, I'm going to test Merciless in my usual format, and show you its DPS against two linears, Reed's Regret with Triple Tap Firing Line, and Bait and Switch Cataclysmic paired with Wither Horde. I'll also compare it to another special fusion rifle, Cartesian Coordinate. I don't expect Merciless to be anywhere near linears for total damage, but I wanted to see if at least the short term DPS can compete. Here are the damage values that I'm using for testing. For Merciless, its damage per bolt decreases very slightly for each stack of conserve momentum. And here are the rolls and damage values for the other weapons. Now we'll look at the first 30 seconds of each damage sequence. For Cataclysmic, I'm using Wither Horde and a hand cannon to proc Baden Switch, and the hand cannon is basically just an arbitrary primary weapon in this case. This is the DPS over time graph. So Merciless is dealing lower DPS than both LFRs and then just barely touches the tip of Wither Horde Cataclysmic around 15 seconds in. Merciless does have a damage perk though called Impetus which is similar to Kill Clip but boosts your damage by 50%. So if there's an enemy you can use to proc Impetus right as the DPS phase starts, in this case yes it can beat Linears. But the situation in this graph assumes that you time it perfectly so that you reload some time before the damage phase starts so that you're ready to shoot as soon as it does start with maximum duration of the Impetus buff. Here's what I think is the more realistic situation. You get your kill, but then you don't start your reload until after you see the DPS phase start. This way you don't have to time the reload, but you do start firing later than you normally would. This is the graph that represents that scenario. In this case, Merciless is still able to compete with Bait and Switch Cataclysmic for about 15 seconds. Against Linears, Merciless does have the advantage against enemies that are harder to crit consistently, but that's where a lot of people would just use Rocket Launchers or Divinity. Here's how Merciless compares to a Clown Cartridge Hothead and a Bump in the Night with Vorpal Weapon. And here's the same graph but with Wolfpack Rounds included. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful, and happy dawning.